In this video, I'll be showing you on how to get a very useful tweak called lock seconds. Now, instead of explaining it to you, um, it's just real simple, so I'm just going to demonstrate it on my iPad. So, as you can see, as you can see on my lock screen right now, you see the time, but then you also see the seconds. So basically, what this tweak does is it makes it so you can add the seconds to your lock screen clock. So say you want to have a timer, instead of going all the way to the clock application, you can just simply go to your lock screen and you get the seconds also, which I think this is very useful and should be included on all, like as an option on all Apple um, iDevices. But anyway, this works for the iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone, as you can tell, as I just demonstrated on my iPad. And it also works on the iOS 4 firmware, which I will be demonstrating for you on my iOS 4 device. So if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and also subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and let's get on to the tutorial. Alright, so before I show you on how to get the uh, tweak, I'm just going to be telling you about my new repo. So basically, I made my um, own source slash repository or repo um, for Cydia, whatever you want to call it. And to actually get this tweak, you're going to have to add that source, which I'll have in the description right below this video. Um, the first line will be it. Um, well, actually, the second line. But anyway, so to get this tweak, I'm going to be showing you... Um, you're going to download it from my source, so you'll be able to see it. I'm just going to show you around it. But anyway, here is the main to Hacker 13 theme. As you can see, it's got a pretty cool slider, slide to explore, and a pretty good lock screen wallpaper. And there are the icons. So basically, you can download this um, theme from my repo, which I'll be showing you um, today for how to get that tweak. So the first thing you want to do is open up Cydia, and you want to let everything load. Alright, so once everything has loaded, you can simply go to Manage, press Sources, touch Edit, and then press Add. And you want to type this, type in the source that will be in the description down below. We should also see some text right here um, that will show the source. You just want to type that in and hit Add Source. So I doubt any of you already have this source because it's a, obviously a brand new source that I made. So you want to type it in and hit Add Source. As you can see, I already have it there, the official to Hacker 13 repository. And so now you want to go to search. You want to touch the search bar and you want to search lock space seconds. That's all you need to search. And you should see it from my repo to Hacker 13. So we'll touch it. And then you want to press install and confirm. And so the download should actually be around a 20, um, a 15 to 20 second download for it to obviously download and install to your device. And then just let it reload the data after it is finished. And then you will want to reboot your device. So just by holding down the power button, slide the power off. And let it simply turn off. And I will come back once it has finished um, turning on. So once it has finished rebooting, you can see as on your lock screen, it should show these seconds of the time on your um, clock on the lock screen. Now before we end this video, I just want to show you on how to get the theme that I am currently running, which is the official to Hacker 13 theme. So you want to open up Cydia, and if you just added the source that I just told you to get to get this tweak, which was in the description down below, then you should be able to find my theme. And to simply do that, once again, just open up Cydia and let it load the data. And then you want to press manage. Sources. And you want to press my source. 
Now, as you can see, I only have a, a few things right now. There is the De Hacker 13 theme right there. It says, it says the official theme of De Hacker 13. And you just download it and then um, apply it in Winterboard, obviously. And then you can get the theme that I have been using in this tutorial. And so let's just wait for it to finish reloading the data. And so let's reload it. So as you can see, there's the Dehacker 13 theme right there. So you can just install that. And then you also got Full Force from the Dehacker 13 repo. And basically, it's for iPads only. It forces apps to show in iPad mode. You got Lock Seconds, which we just installed, and also Pro Tapper. So I'll basically be constantly updating new stuff to my repo. Um, of course, themes that I've made and awesome tweaks that I show my videos. And make sure to thumbs up this video. Leave a comment down below and also subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all later. And remember, make sure to add my source. See you all later.